Visco. Hi, welcome to Visco channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up multi-door interlocking using an SS controller. Multi-door interlocking is basically to prevent more than one door to be open at a time. To configure multi-door interlocking, all of the door should be connected to the same SS controller. For the hardware parts, I'm using a DSK2814 door SS controller and four card readers K1102AM for door 1 entrance, door 1 exit, door 2 entrance and door 2 exit. And I'm using a magnetic contact to tell the opening and closing status of door 1. The wiring, I'm connecting all four card readers to the SS controller using RS485. From the labeling on the card reader wires, the yellow wire is the RS485 plus and blue wire is 4F5 minus. You can connect all four card readers in parallel to the SS controller and set their address according, accordingly following this uh, table. You can also find this uh, address table in the SS controller user manual. And I'm connecting this door contact to the lock one door sensing and ground terminal. So for EM lock and other devices connection, you can find it on the SS controller user manual or the quick start guide. So lastly, I'm connecting this uh, LAN cable for the SS controller to be detected by the web clients for configuration. After doing the hardware setup, we can go to the HCAC web client to add in the SS controller to do the configuration. So you can search the SS controller device under the online device here. Just select it and add to device list. And give it a random name and for the password you should follow the activation password when you activate the SS controller. After adding in the network status should show online. So next we can go to the person tab to add a person. So we can give it a name and at the credential management we can add the card. First we have to configure a card reader to read the card. So let's say I select door one. After that, we can click Add Card and then just scan the card on the card reader. After scanning the card, just click Save and then add the person. After adding the person, we can go to the access control to add the new access level. So for this demonstration, we'll add the door 1 and door 2 for the 2A14. After adding the access level, we can assign it to the person. So at the assign access level here, we can assign to the person I had just now. So after adding the person, you can check uh, double confirm here at the assign by person. So the access level has been assigned to this person. So after that, we can test it on the 2L14 to see if the access is being assigned successfully. Now I will demonstrate door unlocking before configuring the multi-door interlocking. So I can unlock both door 1 and door 2 at the same time. So even if I leave the magnetic contact open, so which indicates the door is being open, I can still unlock door 1 and door 2 at the same time. I will demonstrate how to configure multi-door interlocking in HCAC web client. To configure multi-door interlocking, you will need magnetic contact to tell the door opening status. So first step, you should go to area and select the door you want to configure multi-door interlocking. And for the door contact, select remain unlock and click save. So for this demonstration, I'm only using magnetic contact on door one. So I will only do it for door one. After that, you can go to access control under multi-door interlocking. Select configure now and select the door you want to configure multi-door interlocking and give it a name, click add. And the configuration is all done. Now I'll demonstrate the result after setting up multi-door interlocking for door 1 and door 2. So after I unlock door 1 and leave the magnetic contact open, which indicates door 1 is in opening set now, I should not be able to unlock door 2. If I place the magnetic contact back together, which indicates door 1 is in closing state now, 
I can be unlock door 2 now so let's say door 2 is still in lock step door 1 cannot be unlocked at the same time after door 2 is back to the lock step I should be able to unlock door 1 thank you for watching hope you learned something from this and if you like the video, you can give it a like and subscribe to Visco channel to view more tutorials like this. Thank you. Visco.